This lesson will introduce you to Stata, a widely used statistical and econometric software, and to the Distributive Analysis Data Package, DASP. Examples and exercises proposed in this course are performed with these two tools. The first half of this lesson is devoted to introducing the Stata software, followed by a presentation of DASP, which uses Stata to allow in-depth and rigorous distributive analysis. The objectives of this class are to understand the basic structure of the Stata software, discover Stata's graphical interface, understand the usefulness of DASP for distributive analysis, present the basic structure of the various DASP modules, consider the challenges and difficulties of measuring poverty and welfare in a money metric framework, See how the information required by DASP is related to important issues in welfare economics. And see how to generate tabular and graphical output with DASP. Let's start with an introduction to the Stata software. Stata is a popular statistical software program used by researchers and analysts in all disciplines and throughout the world. Stata can be used to process data, perform statistical analysis, draw graphs, conduct statistical simulations, estimate the causal link between a given intervention and an individual outcome. The graphical interface of Stata is mainly composed of the main menu, toolbar and four windows. One, the variables window. Two, the command window. Three, the review commands window for the results window. We will review each of these windows in the following slides. The command window allows you to type a Stata command line and execute it by clicking on enter. For instance, in the following example, the Stata command line is composed of two words. The first one is the Stata command mean, and the second is the name of the variable, which in this example is income. Stata allows different keyboard shortcuts. For example, you can use the keyboard button page up to edit the preceding command. The page down button can be used to edit the following command. Also, you can start to write the name of a given variable and complete it by clicking on tab. The review commands window displays the last few lines typed and executed in the commands window. You can click once on a given command line appearing there to enter that command in the command window, or click twice on it to directly execute that command. Also, it can be useful to right click in the commands window to copy one or more commands appearing there and paste them in your do file, which we will discuss further on. The variable window lists the names of all variables included in the currently open data file as well as their label names and format. You can click on a variable to display a menu that allows you to rename the variable or add some notes. You can double click on a variable to enter it in the commands window. The results window displays the results of the Stata commands. You can select part or the whole set of results and then right click to copy as text or in a tabulated format. There are three ways to execute Stata commands. One, typing the command in the commands window and clicking on enter. Two, executing the Stata command in the dialog box. Or three, executing a do file, which is an ASCII text file that contains a set of successive Stata command lines. Entering a Stata command through a dialog box rather than directly in the command window, can make it easier to use the correct syntax and access all of its possible options. Dialog boxes can be accessed in two ways. The first method is to select the command through Stata's main menu. For instance, this picture shows how to launch the dialog box of the Stata command mean. 
Alternatively, a dialog box can be accessed by writing db followed by the name of the command. For example, db mean. The presentation of the dialog box depends on the specific command. For example, the dialog box for the mean command is shown here. You can select the variable for which you want to estimate the mean by simply selecting one or more variables in the variables box. You can also easily indicate various specific options directly in the dialog box. There are six buttons at the bottom of the dialog box. The button with the question mark accesses help for the command. The R button resets all dialog box options to their default values. The copy button copies to a clipboard the syntax generated when the command is executed for later use. The OK button executes the command and closes the dialog box. The cancel button closes the dialog box. The submit button executes the command without closing the dialog box. This is useful to explore different options. A do file is an ASCII text file that contains a set of successive stator command lines that can be executed one by one or all together by clicking on the circled button. It is highly recommended to save your stator syntaxes in do files. This allows you to save your work and use it at a later stage. You can also add comments or notes to your do file. This can be done by starting the comment with a star so that Stata recognizes that this line is not a Stata command and does not stop the compilation of your do file. To summarize, each of the three modes of execution of Stata commands has their advantages. The dialog box generates accurate Stata syntax when options are selected and is a useful way to learn Stata commands and their syntax quickly. A do file combines several commands which can be run in part or in their entirety. This is a very useful way to save and modify a series of commands for later convenience. The command window can be used to write and execute commands directly to quickly generate results. Let's now turn our attention to the DASP program, which uses Stata to easily conduct in-depth and rigorous distributive analysis. Stata enables programmers to provide specialized packages based around Odoo files to add to the power of the software. An Odoo file is a series of commands similar to a do file that are provided by Stata or a member of the Stata community for specific purposes. DASP which stands for Distributive Analysis Stata Package, is a package designed to assist researchers and policy analysts in conducting distributive analysis. Stata is a powerful tool to process and analyze household data surveys. Combining DASP and Stata allows you to use the same environment to conduct detailed distributive analysis. DASP makes it possible to use the most popular statistical tools, indices, curves, etc., for the analysis of poverty, inequality, social welfare, and equity. To estimate the statistical differences in such statistics, to estimate standard errors and confidence intervals that take full account of the survey design, to apply the most popular distributive decomposition procedures, to check for the ethical robustness of distributive comparisons, and to support distributive analysis using more than one database at a time. DASP applies optimized algorithms for the estimation of distributive indices. Also, it unifies syntax and parameter use across various estimation procedures for distributive analysis. For each DASP module, three types of files are provided. A do file contains the program of the module. HLP file contains the help material for the given module. DLG file 
allows the user to perform the estimation using the modules dialog box. Once installed, the DASP menu can be accessed through Stata's main menu under User, as illustrated here. The DASP menu makes it possible to quickly access the dialog boxes for all DASP commands. The latter are grouped by main themes, namely inequality, multidimensional inequality, polarization, poverty, and so on. In DASP, the main variables are 1. Variable of interest. This is the variable that usually captures living standards. It can represent, for instance, income per capita or expenditures per adult equivalent. 2. Size variable. This refers to the ethical or physical size of the observation. This variable usually refers to the number of household members. 3. Group variable. Say that we wish to estimate poverty within a country's rural area or within female headed families. One way to do this is to force DASP to focus on a population subgroup defined as those for whom a group variable, say area of residence, equals a given group number say 2 for rural area. 4. Sampling weight. The sampling weights are the inverse of the sampling probability. This variable should be set upon the initialization of the dataset. As mentioned earlier, the user can use multiple datasets at the same time. To do so, each data file must first be initialized. Such an initialization is done by labeling variables and values for categorical variables, defining the sampling design with the command svset, saving the initialized data file. It is useful to add a character such as i to the name of initialized files, example uganda99i.dta, in order to distinguish them. As shown in the command menu of this figure, DASP commands can also be entered directly into the command window. Alternatively, as for all Stata commands, the dialog box can be accessed through the Stata menu, DASP submenu, or by typing DB plus the name of the command in the commands window. For example, DB IFGT. DASP allows two main types of applications. The first is based on a single data file, the one that is currently loaded. The relevant variables can be selected directly from that file as illustrated. The second type of application uses two separate distributions, one provided by the loaded data file and the other on a data file available from the computer. DASP makes it possible to display various distributive concepts by curves for different population subgroups. For instance, to compare inequality between rural and urban areas, we can graph Lorenz curves using the DASP command C Lorenz, followed by the welfare variable EXPPC. To estimate Lorentz curves separately for urban and rural zones, we need to indicate the zone variable in the H group option. Also, since we want to estimate inequality measures for the whole population, we need to specify the size of the household in the H size option. This is the graph generated by the C Lorentz command in the previous example. The Lorentz curve for the rural, urban and national population, as well as the perfect equality curve, denoted by the 45 degree line, are displayed. DASP also makes it possible to draw many curves with their confidence intervals. By default, the level of statistical significance is set to 95%, but this can be changed. In the example shown here, 
the CFGTSM command draws FGT curves together with their confidence intervals. The figure shown here is the result of the previous command. Graphs produced with Stata and DASP can be saved in different formats. Those saved in Stata's graphical format can be easily edited. Graphs in the Windows Metafile format can be easily inserted into Word documents. Graphs in encapsulated PostScript format are particularly suitable to be inserted in LaTeX documents.